Hey, what's up guys? It's Zach from Exploring Tech and for a very long time now, there have been no videos on my channel. I just got involved into exams and studies and stuff, but from now on, I'm going to be way more consistent. And speaking of that, there are two very important videos coming real soon on this channel, so you may want to subscribe to my channel. But anyway, keeping things aside, uh, by the time you may already have guessed that this is a video about a launcher. Now, I'm not a guy who is a lot into launchers and stuff. So basically because of two reasons. I like the clean and simplistic look of Android, stock Android basically. The second reason being out of those uh, huge lot of customizable launchers out there like the Nova launchers, the Action launcher, etc, etc. Uh, it takes a lot of settings and tunings to bring the launcher to a place where I really like it and add my flavor. And every time being an Android user, I ha I kind of reset my phone, end up resetting my phone for some reason or two. And to get to that same place or somewhere near to that uh, settings or that look that I went for before, it's kind of kind of a hassle. So here in comes this Poco F1 launcher, which actually makes my job a lot easier. And I like the way it works and looks just right after installing so i do not have to go through all those kinds of settings now at the first, very first place i've not been going with the uh, any kind of launcher just because uh, i'm using miui right now miui tend to be exact and the only thing i wish it had was an app drawer it's, it looks just so clean and is so manageable uh, with having an app drawer rather than not having an app drawer i don't get it why android manufacturers are Custom UIs don't have that, but anyway, that's the only reason that I'm uh, using a launcher. And uh, I had to use a launcher. I think I I would be going with this one rather than any other powerful and really flexible launchers. Definitely, this does not provide that much of flexibility and is not that powerful. But being said that it does provide some couple of neat features uh, that you might end up liking. Uh, I did not, which is not good, but anyway, you might end up liking as well. So You get to long press on any icon to get more options. It does not work for all the apps, uh, but it does work for uh, most of the Google apps like YouTube, Chrome and some others. So I did not end up using it that much as I expected to use it. But yeah, it's kind of cool to have something rather than nothing. You get a ton of sorting features on the app drawer, a ton of grouping features on the app drawer. You get dark mode. Oh yes. This is something that every software needs to have. Um, I, you don't just appreciate it right out of the box, but your subconscious mind just, I don't know, it makes me feel good. It makes uh, my experience more soothing than the bright white mode. So dark mode, everything, please. You can also change the app layout, the size of the icons on the tray and on the home screen. And you get to choose icon packs. So add your icon packs right there. You also get the app vault from MIUI, which you can turn on and off. Pretty much I turn it off the very first time I install it. Now talking of any kind of issues or bad things, um, I noticed something. There's not a lot to be talking about, but uh, there's something I noticed. Uh, which was a couple of frame drops when I used to scroll up in the app drawer But after the update a couple of months back, it seems to be fixed. So That's out of the way and I don't uh, kind of find any kind of bugs uh, in this launcher or any kind of performance hits on your phone So it's pretty fine works fine for me. So summing it up. It is definitely not a powerful and flexible launcher you can't do anything with this one, but if you uh, like the look and the simplicity uh, of this launcher which just comes after installing and if you want it to work um, just after installing it like me then probably it's worth a shot and it's not that huge in size so you can go for it. I think that's been it for this uh, launcher in this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what kind of launchers you use or do you prefer stock Android which a lot of people does. Uh, but Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Exploring tech. Keep exploring.